Should someone go 100% raw right away or should they transition? I don't know anyone who successfully transitioned to raw like overnight and has just done amazing ever since. There's always going to be a transition phase. If someone does go 100% raw overnight, there's going to be major struggles, like major. They're they're going to be making like a ton of mistakes. They make a ton of mistakes. There's got to be a transition period. So some of the mistakes are like they just don't eat enough food. That's one. So they're always hungry. Another one is they don't eat food in the right combinations because they're just like piling everything together. Another mistake is they don't eat the food ripe because they don't know what ripe is because they don't have a lot of experience with with the food. And these are just natural mistakes to make. And the first one, like not eating enough, it's like they physically can't eat enough because the stomach, when you eat cooked food, your stomach doesn't need to really expand. When you eat cooked food, the cooked food is so dense with calories that your stomach only needs to expand like that big. That's it. Your stomach only needs to expand that big to fill up with like a thousand calories, and you're good for a meal. But in raw food, if you want a thousand calories in raw food, you need like twice the size. Like a thousand calories of watermelon, you need like twice the size. And so your stomach's not used to stretching that big on cooked food. And so when all of a sudden you switch to raw food, you're gonna feel full because your stomach's only that big, but you're getting so little calories, you're gonna be hungry. And this is another reason why people lose so much weight so quickly when they first go raw is because they're just not getting anywhere near enough calories. They just get hungry and they lose a bunch of weight. So it takes time to be able to stretch your stomach out. And this is also another reason why people who eat a raw food diet go back to cooked food and gain so much weight because their stomach is now used to stretching like really, really big for a raw food meal. And they eat cooked food and they're able to fit in so much more cooked food than before. They overeat on calories. But yeah, as far as should you transition or should you go 100% raw overnight, you should definitely transition. I think raw till four is a great stepping stone for a lot of people. I mean, just fruit till noon is a good one. Just fruit till noon is a good starting point for most people. Most people on the planet should do fruit till noon. If they're rocking that, then do raw till four. And then if they're rocking that, then uh, do at least five days a week raw. Go raw Monday to Friday and then a cooked on the weekends. And if you really want, sure, do seven days a week raw. But you definitely want to transition. And if you mess up, if you slip up, don't like beat yourself up and be like, oh, I suck. I'm not raw anymore. I got to start back on day zero. It's like none of that crap. If you, if you mess up or you have some food, just learn from it. Did you feel good or did you feel tired after? Did you feel sluggish after? Or did you feel energetic after? Chances are if you've been raw for a while and you eat some cooked food, you're going to feel sluggish. So just be honest about that. Just accept it and just make note of it. Learn, learn from all your experiences. That's how you get better. The only reason I'm, I'm able to go stand on a stage at some fruit festival and teach people about how to eat a fruit diet is because I've made so many mistakes because I've tried so many different things. I've taken note on like what works and what doesn't work. So now I'm at a point where like people are like, asking me questions like, Ted, how about this and how about that with raw food? It's like I've just made a shitload of mistakes. And that's why I put together courses teaching people how to not make those same mistakes. So if people don't want to make the same mistakes I made, which are pretty much the same mistakes everyone's going to make, unless they have someone like myself or another raw food is telling them not to make the mistakes. Like everyone's going to make those mistakes. So I put together courses. I put together the 30-day raw food challenge program for people who want help on raw. And that was the program that I launched. And that was a program I was able to start making $5,000 a month from back in the day. Just helping people not experience the same mistakes I made. So definitely want to transition.